so today we're going to be showing you guys why elevators are slow, how elevators are slow, because our elevator in our school is pretty slow going yeah. down. So we're going to be doing some videos of going in the elevator, up and down, and, and then we're going to... Yeah, and then we're going to tell you some information about it. So, see you guys in the elevator. Okay, so we're going up the elevator, so... You can see how long it takes. It usually doesn't take that long going up. It mostly takes longer going down. So this is the elevator. And this is the fifth grade hallway. Okay, so now we're going down the elevator. Bye. Kelsey, can you hear us? Probably. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it took like 49 seconds. So now we're going to go back and tell you guys why ha why it might have gone slow and how elevators work. So let's go. Okay, so we just got back from the elevator and now we're going to tell you why we think it was slow without like the internet and stuff like that. So I think it was slow because maybe um, it's old or the way they built it just wasn't that good or maybe it was too heavy with two people but I don't think that's what makes sense at all because two people, especially kids, isn't that heavy. So, yeah. um, why I think the elevator is slow is so it's small, probably um, just in general it's old because that school's pretty old but like it's updated. But um, also because it's an elevator. Elevators go slow. So, so now we're going to get on to telling you guys why it's actually slow from the computers. Okay, so now we're going to tell you from Google why elevators are slow and how elevators work. So Kelsey's going to tell you how elevators work. Most elevators work just like a pulley. A very strong metal rope is joined to the top of the elevator cart and goes up through a sheave in the engine room above the elevator. The sheave is like a pulley with grooves in it to hold the rope tightly. On the other side of the rope is a weight, which is about as heavy as an elevator car when it's half full. This balances the car so that not too much energy is needed to move it. Both the weight and the elevator car are held in place by a guide rope and sides of, of the elevator shaft. A motor can turn the wheel in either direction so that the elevator goes either up or down. When you push the button inside the elevator, you activate the motor. When the motor stops, the grooves in the pulley will keep the rope in place so the elevator stops moving. So this is how or why elevators are slow. Um, it says, depending on when the hotel was built, how tall the elevator is, and design practice, the elevator will have different transit speeds. Depending on the transit speed and how busy things are, the elevator will take a different amount of time to reach you. A high traffic volume can make elevators take an extremely long time to reach you, which can also depend on how the elevator is programmed to go to different floors. Um, okay, I guess he's just going to stay in there. Bye, Andrew. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something about elevators. See you later, and hopefully Andrew comes back. So, bye. bye.